Concentration of another sort now, the kind that's needed to produce miniature masterpieces like these. Concentration, that is, together with the intricate skill of the true craftsman. In this case, 72-year-old Mr. Stanley Wise of Sunbury, Middlesex, whose hobby for the past 40 years or so has been miniature clock making. As is so often the case, this precise, studious craftsman was once a man of action. A former squadron leader, he flew on the famous bombing raid to Constantinople in 1917 as co-pilot to Sir John Alcock, later to fly the Atlantic in record time. It was as a prisoner of war in the same year that he took up this hobby, and today he is the author of several books on the subject. Even at normal size, clock making is a highly delicate operation, but the scale to which Mr. Wise works is quite remarkable. In this electric model, weighing less than half an ounce, the coil is made up of 1,500 turns of wire one one-thousandth of an inch thick. The tiny pendulum vibrates at 300 times a minute. You've not seen a smaller grandfather clock than this typical of works of art that remain timeless in their beauty. <laughs> <laughs> 